Hello, hello everybody, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be doing a Minecraft, you know, video, but not any Minecraft video, a world tour, because I don't think I've shown many people my OG survival world from PS3, because I've, tra I've transferred this world from PS3, this world is completely legit, like, I got all my, I got basically all the trophies I have, like, like, it might say I don't have that many trophies on this game, but I'm going on a tangent, never mind, but, yeah. First, I'm going to start off, okay, that intro was terrible, by the way, I'm sorry, but, first I'm going to start off with my house, labeled Little John's House, you know, because, this world is a community, like, like, a lot of my friends, like, a lot of my old friends used to play in this world so much, like, like what like my old old friends like that I know like before some of my friends I play with a lot now like I think mean, J Cool, Ultra Lord, Dakai. Like the these people were the people I knew like a year before them. And, like I started this world I think three years ago. And then we just went with the flow, you know? So you know all of these chests might be labeled, but trust me, they are not <laughs> organized. I used to have, I used to have this like world completely organized. No, I used to have my like everyone, er everybody else has their like houses completely organized, but my house is like complete as a poo poo. But here's my other chest room, cause definitely with all the um, mining I do, you know, you get a lot of stuff. I got, you know, I got some. I think I, I think I have slime ball in here because I wanted to make some pistons. I have a lot of boats in there too for some reason. Here's my enchantment room, another chest, you know. What you call it? Um, I have a smithery out here. This little walkout, you know. This is my backup armor. Wait, this, this, those diamond pants. But you see how much I've used this <laughs> anvil? Cause look how damaged it. That, that, that used to be a perfect anvil. I just put. I put fire and lava here just for, um, you know, decoration. I'm probably going to get rid of, I'm not going to get rid of it, like, yeah. I should probably go, go, go to bed real quick, but I'll go to my bed once I go to my basement area of my house. And on top of my house, I have a secret little pool to swim in, you know. I have a little step down, too, so if you want to be right here right down here you know that's where you can be I got a flag you can't see it but oh, I'll just show you it in the morning I also have these lights on top of my house so also you get somewhat of a good view but I think one of the best views are on top of the towers the towers are used for if you get lost you see those towers they're meant to be hot, really high in the sky so I'll show you a nice view of the world on top of those towers so first I'm gonna go to sleep cuz it's getting pretty late Mm. So, I have a TV, a couch down here, you know. This is also my enchantment room. It's one of my dogs. No. So, the thing with my dogs is, so, some of them might be mine and some of them might not be. Because, like, I, when I played this game, like, offline, like, I have online dogs that I got when I was, like, playing online. I have dogs when I was playing offline. It was just kind of weird, but down here, I just have a whole bunch of brew brewing stuff down there is basically a maze because we've done so much trip mining and we're so close together that it's intertwined i got levers all over the place because i didn't there's a light up here and then this lever used to be to some redstone that lit up the outside but i got rid of it because i didn't really like it but it was it, w it would um what you call it it went through because like it looked kind of ugly with this redstone just out but it basically went through the ground, it lit up this, like, a little light right here, and a little light right here. So, yeah. Here's my farm. I got a mushroom cow, a whole bunch of cows. But we don't really eat meat. Like, you see, I just have bread and stew. Like, I get mushroom stew, and then we get bread from down here with all the wheat, carrots, you know, this, this little trail. And it goes up to our sugarcane farm. Make sure you don't fall down there. Mm. And, yeah. And this chest, I just have a whole bunch of farm stuff. It's nothing special. 
and if we go up here and up this little ladder because we didn't feel like making you know that we have um the start to our mine shaft not not not, not the normal minecraft mine shaft oh no Think of the enchanted bell. So yeah, this goes down to our mine shaft, and the cool thing about our mine shaft is that they're all connected technically. So I think um, if you run down here somewhere, I don't know where it is exactly, but there's a big open room. I think it's over here. Yeah, so this this connects to my sister's house. So yeah, but the thing is it's really easy to get lost in here like how I'm lost right now. <laughs> okay. And then yeah. But that big open room is connected to my sister's house, which is what we're gonna go to next after oh wait out. I'm really bad at these tours, so like I don't have like, any piece of paper, so I'm just like going off my mind. So climb up these ladders. But yeah, while we climb up these ladders and go to my basement, because I forgot to show you something, I like I've been working on this world for three, four years now, and it's been really fun. It's the most nostalgic world I have next to my mini game world. I might be doing a tour of later on today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, but these this was my first enchanted diamond sword I got in this world, and this was my second enchanted diamond sword I got in this world. And I think one has fire aspect, and another one ha I think I think that that one has fire aspect, and this one's has like I, I think that one's like monster bane, and that's one like player bane, and this one's this one's like a mix of the both. So, this is just a clock on the wall. So, yeah, that, that, that's that I forgot to show you my basement completely, so I'm sorry. So, you might see a whole bunch of random shops, and that's because this was really a community. So, Little, Little John's Great Bakery, I had cakes in here, and you didn't really have to buy them. You know, you could just walk in, and if you were hungry, you just take, take a bite of the cake, you know. And I was pretty good uh, at always having cakes up whenever somebody needed it out here. Just a little eaty, eating area, you know. But yeah, this is just a bakery. And if you ever got hungry when you were running around, you just go there. Alright. So over here is my friend iMuffin's trade shop for beginners. It's not really a trade shop. It's more of a, you go in here... You know, you could get some diamond armor if you wanted it, a power bow, you know. Just some random stuff you needed if you were a bit starting. There's our nether portal, and I would go in there, but our nether is complete trash. <laughs> like, this whole world is trash. Like, there's no vi villages. There's barely any mine shafts that we've, like, we've went through the whole world. And looks for villages and mine shafts. No villages and mine shafts. There's a huge jungle which I will get to later. I don't. I don't think there was a jungle temple. I don't. I don't there, there's not a desert. Like and like. And the thing is, there's a huge plains biome, but there's no vi villages there. <laughs> but most of our world is forest, and there's nothing really special about it, you know. So let's get to my sister's house, which is this. Birch wood masterpiece. <laughs> um, you know, you walk in here. He has a little, little living room. The funny thing is, so this fire used to not be covered up. In this whole, in this whole floor, it used to be covered with wool. And then I was like, wait a second, all that wool's gonna burn. So, but like it, we, we were in the middle of a mine shaft, so we ran back up. And like this whole floor was like burning, so we had to put it out. Like the like and like this wood part was burning too. Bro, it's chaotic. Um, out here is my sister's farm. It's a more classical farm than mine, you know. My farm's more, you know, sectioned off, like sections of wheat. 
Like we have, we have the same amount of wheat, but she has it all bunched up. She has all her carrots bunched up. She has a, like I have all I have all my sugar sugar cane bunched up but too. But um, yeah, she just has this all. And you know, our world used to be a lot more functional than this. You know, she she has her animals here. She also has a mushroom. Um, if we go upstairs, she has her bedroom, ender chest, chest. You know, just a whole bunch of chests and stuff. A little patio ed re eatery area where, you know, it was like, I think on New Year's we would come up here, you know, like, I think an hour before the ball drop, we would just, you know, have some cake on top of the roof. And up here is a, it's the first tower I'm going to be showing you, which is, you know, it's pretty good. She has some dogs up here, but you can get a good view of everything. And that road over there, that is what we call Snake Way. And it's basically, our spawn was a jungle, like like we spawned in a jungle. And my sister, she she was like, okay, I, I can work with this, I'm gonna build here. But then she she, she didn't really um do, do, do that well at the start. So we, so what we did was, we went and I okay I went around and that cave where the um, mine shaft is where like the first mine shaft I showed you that's where I was like hey there there's a mine shaft here and there might be a good cave you know so I built my house at the edge of that ravine which is the house I first showed you and I built off from there my sister ended up coming over to me and we had to make that snake way like at least it's come straight from spawn like we made it directly at spawn and we just made it all the way over to here so this is my sister's enchantment room it's more um decorated than mine okay um i think down here is the thing i was talking about the oh big open room filled Bro, I can't. All right, bro. That was actually kind of scary because if if my sister figured out that this blew up, she 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 would have been mad at me. But we got friends and the stuff there just because we didn't feel like going back. Oh, did this, I, thought, I thought that was a creeper. Oh my god. And there's a skeleton. So this, bro, this thing is so fast. Bro, what? I, I clearly haven't played Minecraft in a while. <laughs> my 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 bow aim is completely off. So this is our giant strip mine base, and there's an actual creeper over there. Can't quite. Hit it, okay. My bow aim is completely off though, but this little fire part was to discourage people from, you know, stealing their stuff. <laughs> it actually worked surprisingly. I don't know how, but it worked. But yeah, if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of ender chests around the place, and yeah, there's, there's a lot of ender chests. And the baby is crying upstairs. But yeah, we have it like we have so many ender chests that we have one down there and one right here. Like ender chests are not a problem for us. Please don't be another creeper up there, because if it is, my sister's gonna be mad. No more creepers. All right. I always hate going down in my my sister's little ladder thing because she didn't really light it up properly and. Yeah. <sighs> so climb up here. I think actually if we go all the way up, then around, and then around again. She has her secret anvil here. That's not used much because nobody knows what it is. And they always just go to mines. It actually kind of sucks. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I can always make another one. Like we mine this world out so much that we just mined everything inside it. So I'm going to go back to my starter house.
and go to bed. Cause I don't feel like dealing, dealing with no mobs. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> but let's see. Yeah. But to be honest, like how my house started was it was first this wooden part. Then I went upstairs and made this cobblestone part right here. Like this whole weird cobblestone temple thing. And I went over here and made this cobblestone thing right here. With the enchantment room. Then I made that thing over there. Then I made my basement. My bed was originally up here, like like this used to be my bedroom, and then down here was like storage. But then I just moved everything and made my basement. I know that looks kind of weird, but hey, it's the charm of the world. Everything just looks survivally. Like we we got trees around here to signify, hey, you're about to run into the portal. But um, we're we're gonna go across that bridge later, towards the end of the video maybe. So this is one of another mine shaft so one, one goes that way and another one goes this way just so we don't run into each other because we really want to be more proficient because that because th like 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 the one that, that goes this way is going to run into our mine shaft like everything under us right now is mine shaft really and then down there is another one of our mine shafts like and like w when I say mine shaft I don't I'm not talking about the, like the ones that are naturally in the game I'm talking about the, like the ones inside you know that, that we've made like we dug out so this is my friend I muffins house who hasn't really played that much um he, he hasn't been playing that much um he lived here with his little sister you know he, he lived up here with his sister you know the, I think this is his bed that, that was her bed down there and yeah you, you like there's two ways to get in the house you can go in that that way or you could just come around open this gate and go down here and yeah we got this one mushroom here cuz we were kinda bored <laughs> I might actually lose some stuff cuz of all the um how forest it is still we got this farm right here which is actually one of our main farms just cuz it's so big and we use it for everything <laughs> I think right here was the police station yes we actually had a police station but we but someone uh, someone uh, not someone a creeper blew it up so instead of just like destroying it we just like put some slabs down to look like ruins but we still have the we still have the jail jail cells down here that were somewhat finished somewhat not finished you know so just go up here close it like that's actually one of the safest spots you could be really inside this world if something did happen but cause like it's like all cobblestone really so yeah over here next to the farm is what is this cobblestone thing I have no clue that's just okay I didn't know that was here this is the dirt house of extreme amazingness where so my friend was like just make me a quick small house because he was like I'm gonna be the adventurer so I need a quick small house it didn't matter what it was so I was like okay I'll make you a quick small house so I got a whole bunch of dirt you know the floor is a bed ceiling furnace and crafting table you know and then you got chests for all of his adventuring needs because like he never really did go to his house, so if he ever needed sleep, right there, furnace, crafting table, chest, there, that's all he really needed. So he, I was like, okay, whatever. Over here is like the starters inn, which was one of my sister's ideas. Where this, this is like another thing next to the um, this, this and the um, what you call it, uh, the I, I must fence trade shop. That was mixed with this, where they they would go to the trade shop, get get what they need, and if they didn't get everything they needed, cause like the trade shop was more of a community chest, really, where if you had a whole bunch of something, just put in that chest for new people who joined the world, and this was basically where you could get some. This was another starter chest for other people. So, yeah, I think if we walk over here, we're going to get to the tree village. 
this was our first starter village and then over here was a tree village so this tree village is treehouse town I like tree village better treetopia but I've, I've already used treetopia inside another another world so yeah so this was more of a hotel of mine but it's technically in my house but I got furnaces with some gold in it you know got a chest with a chain of diamonds so okay these were my friend's chest I think I'm just gonna leave those there <laughs> I got these stairs that were pretty interesting um, um I moved my bed so there used to be a bed up here when this was my main house so yeah I got another ender chest because there's an ender chest like all over the world um and then you got a little jukebox right there got some chest with a diamond pickaxe oh okay I'm just finding stuff now like I've lost many, many stuff and over here is just you know bathroom so guy got a shower a toilet and a sink so this was the little you know my little house my little tree house that I made like like this isn't a real tree if you couldn't tell I don't know what that does if it's a random switch I had but yeah and over here is my tree farm where I get a lot of food and apples from well I guess that's where I got my apples from which is food you know of course um that's where I got all the stuff for my trees I got, like, like the wood I got all that wood from right there I got glass on top of my um, tree so they don't grow too tall so if, if, if you didn't know that if you put glass like a couple blocks like let your first tree grow and if it's a normal height just put a glass on top on top of the like very top of the leaves like towards the middle where the like where 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 the trunk is go up like, like directly through, through through the um trunk put the glass block on the highest piece of leaf that's like right over the trunk and then all your trees will grow at that height. That was probably a terrible like, explanation. There's probably videos of it on YouTube. So, uh, yeah. So, here's the pool. You know, I have a whole bunch of pool signs and, you know, a little pool. O over here is, I call this Me Meteor Bay. Um, I'll, I'll let you know why it's called Meteor Bay. And the re only reason is because you know this. Okay, this this is one of the reasons. It's because if a creeper hole blows up here, we're probably not going to fill it in. <laughs> like that, that's that's just the truth. So right in right here is my tower. I call it. What you call? It? I call I call it John Tower, just because this is where I built my tower. And this is one of my other houses. You know, I know I have I, I had many houses I moved around. Oh, I just forgot to destroy that bed. Um, this is a little dive off board, but this was our new New Year's Eve, like what you call it, new New Year's Eve um little ED areas for me and my sister. We had a cake, some golden apples for New Year's, so. Yeah, there's our mushroom island right there. Um, there's you can see more snake way over there, and then there's another tower over there. We all right. So this is the real reason it's called Me Meteor Bay, cause it looked like a meteor crashed down right here. And to be honest, it wasn't a meteor. It was a um, it was a, um, thingy, TNT, which had a whole bunch of TNT, so we started blowing it up and made a crater. So, but down there is where my secret laboratory is, which isn't going to be a secret now, because I just showed you where it is, how, and how to get into it. So, if you just go down here, run, 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 from flipping that switch, there's a little door that opens up here, 
and I can't close it because I don't have a redstone torch but usually there usually you would have to have a redstone torch because like only let certain members know and they always carry around a redstone torch with them so just put the redstone torch right there walk down and yeah here's the I'm cooking up stone in here just so I can because I want the whole room to be stone so it's up except for certain parts I, think, I thought I heard it bro every, like, like every time like, I like twist up on my tongue it sounds like a creeper noise and it makes me think I'm like a creeper like a creeper in Minecraft and down here is where we have some of the only end stone in the world well like inside the up uh, like inside our world and not the end like we have to go back to the end to get more but yeah that's my secret laboratory that it, it looks so unfinished because that's the last thing I worked on next to I think something else forgot what it was okay well actually no I didn't forget what it was I'll show you it it's towards the end of the video but um yeah it's one of the last things that I worked on here's a basically I made tree houses for anybody who wanted one so I was working on that one but the guy left so I was like okay I'm not gonna work on it anymore so I had this house they're usually empty I gotta make them empty because people usually just want to decorate it themselves so I just left, left, left like that you know there's a doghouse tree house because I was super obsessed with the dogs here like I thought all, like like the dogs were even players to us and there's a creeper please 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 all right so this world is very dangerous if, if you couldn't tell at some parts like this one little dark spot spawned the creeper I know this is what what it's like to play on hard mode guys like this world has always been in hard mode and will always stay in hard mode so like I've gotten people ask hey um this this is too like like these are the people who are really not that good at Minecraft or just think that hard mode is like super hard or with something but it's not it's really easy just that you gotta like if you really want to keep up a world that looks this nice except for the snow right here because this used to be like a snow biome or something I don't, I don't know why but um if if you want to keep up a world like this you're gonna have to you know cre creeper holes you're gonna have to fill them up you know I don't know when that's not filling up but you gotta fill them up and keep them up like that but um now I'm gonna go to our expansion like like this is our frontier area so across this br like this whole like this this part used to be a whole ocean but that's because we were on PS3 so the world was limited so when we got on PS4 and we transferred the world we were like okay we're, we're gonna expand our world and then that's gonna be the frontier so this is a bridge to the frontier I know this, this, this bridge is amazing like this bridge made so many new opportunities so right here is our little tower and I don't I see no need of going up the tower but yeah and here's a mine shaft that goes down into the new area because we mined out all the caves around our house like not like all of them but enough hold up I have to find the right right map all right here's the right map so this map is of the new frontier area and since th since this world is really old this was like before w water temples like like water temples and stuff ocean temples or whatever we had some um, what you call it like there, 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 there was a um ocean temple. I got scared because I saw that face pop up. I'm like, whoa, 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 what is that? It's like, oh wait, it's an ocean temple. So I don't like ocean temples because they pop up in your face. I don't appreciate it. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get down to the. I'm gonna have to run all the way over to where I'm going because there's a special thing over there that me and my sister made. Is there, is there another portal over there? Hold up. I think I see a nether portal. Why is there a nether portal over there? Huh. Like, I don't, I don't know if, if, if y'all played this game, but, like, 
I don't, I don't know if they patched it or not, but which where I would have another portal. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I'm back, and hopefully, I didn't mess up something because I said video clip saved. So I was trying to start a new save, and you know, a new video. Oh, that's a bunny. But um, yeah. I was gonna start a new thing, and I think I'm lost because. I forgot where we built the thing at. But there's a random nether portal over there cuz like like I was saying there was a there's a random nether portal over there cuz of stuff. I don't know the glitch. And then when we tried going through through the nether, it spawned our nether portal right there. So right now I am currently trying to find my lost house that's out here somewhere. I think it's like it's like over a mountain. It's like in, it's like inside a mountain, and I'm highly doubting that it's right over here because I don't see a mountain. Actually, no, no, I I see a mountain. This this might actually be it, because I'm pretty sure we were right right next to a spruce biome, and then the mountain went up and then over into a plains biome. Plains biome. This is a plains biome. In in. Please, please be a plane file. I, I see planes. I see planes. I think we're over to to it. To, to. I guess not. Okay. I think it's that mountain over there. That small puny mountain. I'm pretty sure that's not it, but it might. I'm just gonna go check. It actually might, cause I don't think our house was that big. Like, cause. We started making a new house over there. That's that's basically what it was. Yep, it's, it's over here because I see torches. Is this it? No, nope, this isn't it. Oh, I lost my new house. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't outside the map unless. Yeah, cause I'm, I remember it was inside. It was inside this map. I just forgot where it was inside this map. It's like it's it's like it's inside an extreme hills biome that goes into a plains. It's like a mountain, and then it like goes down into a plains biome. So I want to check this little area over here. It looks like somewhat, you know. It looks. It looks like it could be it. Maybe. I'm gonna go check though. So this so this video right now is completely long. It's really long. And I'm barely even over with it. Oh my god. I don't even think some people are gonna watch it. Oh my god. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but there's a baby crying above me. Yay. But um, hold up. And it doesn't really matter. I love her though. She 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 she's adorable. But uh, she 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 does cry a lot. Um, so yeah, I officially lost my new house. Great. I have no clue where it is. This is really bad. I got a message on my phone from one of my Discord mm, groups. Mm. So I'm really still trying to find this house. Uh, I really want to fit the house in. I might just cut the video until I find it. So I'll see you guys when I find it. Okay, guys. I. Hey guys, welcome back. I think I actually found it finally. Oh my goodness. This might be it because there is a we're nerd pole on top of it so this actually might or might not be it there's a good chance of this being it maybe it's on it's in a mountain there's a nerd pole on top of it it's looking promising and this is our house all right so let, let's walk down to the front of it so this is our little summer home that's a work in progress you know, we're, we're working on it. Um, 
you know, the the real challenge here was clearing, is trying to clear out all the space in survival without flying, because you know this this world's legit, no health priv or anything. But yeah, this this house is a huge work in progress. We're we're like working on it. Like this is like the last thing we really did before stuff got life happened. Yeah, life happened. So much work in school and stuff. Just uh, had no time for Minecraft. But this is our house. We I think we got a lot of the clearing out done. We got the roof done. You know. Like this, like this house is really getting together, but this is all the really house is the house is so far. It's supposed to be sort of summer home away from people. Well, like not 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 really away from people, but just a place to go. So now I'm gonna head back over to the house so I can go to bed because it's getting kind of late. And I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and um, I'm very scared right now. <laughs> and I'm running low on food. Well, I, I'm not dying. Screw this. I am not dying in my own freaking video. <laughs> All right. I really like this whole dual wielding feature where I can freaking dual wield a map and a sword. Okay, I'm still running. I'm gonna have to go northeast. I think that. My friend Jalen or J Cool Eleven underscore, check him out. Um, he just got online. So, luckily this video is about to end in uh, let's say 10 to 15 minutes. More more like five to 10 minutes or five five five, five to 15 minutes. So, you can see over there that there is the magical tower of magic that helps us guide our way home. That's the reason we have them there, so, you know, if you're not quite sure where exactly where you're going, you can see that, hey, it's right there. It's sort of, they sort of work as lighthouses, and I think they, they work pretty well when it was during a time when we didn't have maps and we didn't have a stable paper farm because we always just used the paper for, um, our enchantment shells, but now that our enchantments are done, focus more on maps for everybody. Because this world got really big. Because uh, I think we've had 10 to 15 people in this world, and we've supplied all of them with food, armor, you know, stuff. I haven't, I haven't came into with any grief griefers so no griefers you know th this world was pretty chill chillax chillax world and it's, re it's really protected like it might not seem protected with all the creepers and stuff but it's protected so there's only a couple things I have to show you now like our mob desert so we have a desert right um it's right down this coast also, right up, right over there is Sheep Island, because uh, that one sheep right there, that, that sheep never despawned off that island, or like, you know, ever died. So we were like, hey, nobody kill that sheep, because that sheep, that sheep island, because that sheep always went there. So over here, you might start seeing more creeper holes, because um, this was our, b b b before we found our um, spawners, which I will show you towards the end of the video that we're getting towards. So this is a whole battleground. Look at all these creeper holes. This is where we used to get our XP from. We we would run, we come here at night. You know, you basically come come here at night, and you would fight off a whole bunch of mobs. Like I don't know why, but mobs spawn here like crazy. Like, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of creeper holes everywhere. Like, this desert was, oh my god, so many creepers. I think there was a spider jockey once, too. And, like, we would come here and we would fight all our battles. Well, not all our battles, but 
all uh, we we would get our um, mob. We, we 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 this is where we got all our XP to get this amazing enchanted diamond armor, diamond sword, enchanted bow, enchanted pickaxes. Till we found a more efficient way that's right around here somewhere. Um, I don't forgot where it was. It's not that little cobblestone thing we ran past at all. I think it's over here at the bottom of this tower. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Yes, I remember. So I think right around here. We would run down here. And here's our little mob spawner. So yeah, it's pretty safe. You know, it can't get to you. And there's a little cubby hole right here. And this is where you get all, all your XP from. So that's our mob spawner. And no, we didn't just dig down until we got here. We actually explored a cave and found it. And then we figured out where, where it was from here. Cause we dug up, like like we started staircasing up, like towards our house. Cause we had our map out, and we just figured out, hey, this is pretty pretty cool. That is right next to our snake way, and there there there's another tower, but it's right next to snake way. So yeah, we're gonna go up on snake way, and this is where I will be finishing off my tour of the world and I fell off because I broke my fingers and I fell off the freaking tower let's just drink a region potion because some cheeky little skeleton pops up oh yeah I forgot there's a dragon egg right there that's our dragon egg I, I, I remember that I was supposed to tell, 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 tell you all that but I forgot but it was like nighttime, you couldn't really see it. But on top of that flag right there, there's a dragon egg. So, yeah. So, right here at Snakeway, originally we were planning on adding a minecart track because no, no one feels like running this whole way. And it can get pretty dangerous. Um, it is protected from mobs, but at the same time, it isn't. Because if, like, if a skeleton spawns on top of a tree, you're basically done, though. <laughs> But you just sneak away. You run. Like the track ends right here. But we're we're probably gonna extend the track if we do start playing Minecraft again. Like Minecraft on PS4 a lot more because a lot of my friends are switching over to PC Minecraft, which is kind of sad. It makes me kind of sad. But and we we all have to change sometimes. So they're all switching over to PC Minecraft. To be honest, it's really my fault because I was the one who told everybody to get PC Minecraft because I was kind of bored up there and lonely. But, um, personally, I don't play it that much. But, hey, my friends are into it, so I won't, I won't stop them from doing that. Over there, if you see that dirt pillar, I'm not going to waste your time by going to it. But that's where our Ender Dragon portal is or our, our, our end portal is and we have a little house there it's, it's, it's not that it's like it's just a little shack it's like your normal shack like it's like a starter home but like right there so this is this is the halfway point across our world it's like it's not in the middle but it's the halfway point between our two houses so it has two beds because like usually if we're like usually if if we're like planning on this like we're not always ready so it might be in the middle like the only reason we're so like since it's like so in the middle of the day right now like usually these beds are here for like if it's nighttime and y'all really need to sleep like y'all really want to set your spawn or something because the jungle over there is a really dangerous place to be at night like it's really dangerous and this is just a place like these. I think these used to have leather armor and wooden swords and stuff in them, but pe people took them, you know, because they all. Most people have had to run across Snake Way before. 
So, and if you fall off, you have to nerd, nerd pull back up. But you don't want to fall off. So, so you can see that it's turning to jungle wood now because, hey, we're entering the jungle. But usually, what and like the reason like it took so long to get people across is not everybody knew exactly where Snake Way was because it's like it's a, it's a it's a jungle. It's kind of dense in there, and people won't be able to find exactly where the path starts. So we usually have to, so me, me and my sister or any other pe person who's already over here, they usually have to come over and guide them towards Snake Way. And this little hole right here is because of a creeper. A creeper spawned up here because we didn't torch up the jungle part of Snake Way. Like, that, like, like that's why the jungle is so dangerous for Snake Way runners. Just because we didn't patch it up. So... Or, I mean, like, light it up, 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 or anything. So, you know, we're getting into the jungle. It's getting, like, more jungly and stuff. But this is where our spawn is. Our spawn is right over here. You might see a wooden box over there. That's one of my friend's houses who didn't know... That snake away was a thing, so they made a little tree house in the tree. And yeah, Star Snake Way is right there. This is where Snake Way starts at. Um I think my sister's house that um she made. Somewhere inside the forest somewhere. It's like it's it, you know, it's inside a swamp. It's in a swamp outside of the jungle. Um, what's called? Um, I have to find it. I think it was towards this way, though. Hold up. Um, okay, it's right over there. So, there's my sister's house inside the swamp. Oh, wait, I'm playing low on food. Um, this house um is functional i think i think there's a bed in there no there isn't a bed but hey there's coal in here so you know if, if you really was that desperate you could go raid my sister's house i guess if you're off off spawn but you can you know see look um i have host options but this is the only host options i have only reason i don't have fire spreads on it's because pe pe people want to, don't want their houses to be, like, I've had, I might have said I've never had griefers, but what I mean by I've never had griefers is, oh, a parrot. Oh, I forgot they're in the game. <laughs> but, like, I've had griefers. I just haven't had one in a while because I just don't have fire spread on. And it's surprisingly hard for people to get a hold of TNT without me noticing inside this world. So, yeah. I think down here is a mine shaft. Or a starting of a mine shaft that one of my friends made and they didn't see the pathway. So, you, you know. And look. Um, like, this is why it took so long. Because we had to come into, into the jungle. Like, and, and that took half a day. And then run back. Like, 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 like we would have to find the person... Cause they're, cause they're probably run, running around the jungle or something, and you have to find them and run all the way back to the house. The reason the house is so far away from spawn is just that our spawn was pretty bad. And usually, what happens is my sister builds a house and then I go exploring. Cause like originally this world was only me and my sister. We don't plan on anybody else really coming. Until like some of my friends, like, like the main person really. Like, started us doing this was by letting other people in this world was I Muffin and yeah I Muffin really started everything with inviting people to the world um but this world was just a, a regular world size originally just your normal PS3 world you know normal survival world until it turned into a community that we can all you know flourish on, you know, look back on, like, hey, I remember when we, when this world used to be, 
everybody wore iron armor or leather armor, you know, swans, or, hey, we're still looking for a village. <laughs> hey, we still are. We're still looking for a village. And there are little houses around the world, like, if you're, like, just running through our world and you just see, like, a little shack, hey, it's there because... I think there was this one, because we've had so many people in this world that some of them didn't want to live with us. Like, I'm perfectly fine if, if you don't want to live with us. So they usually just went back, um, ran, ran around the world. I know there's like a plains biome, like, towards that way. Like, if, if you look on the map, my little pointer is pointing that way. And there's a plains biome that way, and there's... There's this one little guy's shack. There's nothing special. Just a house. That he lives in. I think he lived in it with his sister. With, with his little sister. He played Minecraft with his little sister. And he was in there just chilling. You know? And if I if anybody came over, he 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 wouldn't he wouldn't be hostile. He would just be like, hey, um, if you need any food you know, I got food. If if you need any water, well, you don't need water, but if you need like a place to sleep real quick, you got it. Like everyone here is so friendly. It's a really good community. And I'm gonna run back to my house so I can sleep for the last time in this video. And I'm gonna end off at my house and finish the video. So um. Let's just, there, 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 there's a golden zombie down there. That's, that's pretty cool. And let's run through the forest. Like this little forest area, like around the house, it's very, very dangerous because you don't know if like a creeper is following you. A creeper follows you into the, to the house. It's pretty bad. But I think I'm pretty safe, so go down, go to bed, you know, and finish off the video. So everybody, that was my Minecraft Survival World Tour. If you want me to do another video on one of my other worlds, like my Nano Inc. Um, tour, I, I know I did a trailer on it, and the trailer was super bad. I, I'm, the, tra I, the trailer was horrible for Nano Inc. I'm sorry. I did my best in Share Factory. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm going to do a tour of Nano Inc. I have a somewhat Kingdom's world. It's, it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a medieval world. Yeah, I have a medieval world. I have a city. I have a mini game world. So, if you want me to do tours on any of those videos, just let me know in the comments below. And, yeah. Peace out and stay fresh.